This is Cincinnati Police Cruiser Cam of a pursuit that started in Price Hill and ended in a fatal crash in Newport, Kentucky. The department releasing changes in its pursuit policy. The agency has to protect itself and it has to protect its officers uh, from lawsuit, also from injury. Uh, that, that, that is unnecessary. The new policy says pursuits will only be permitted for violent felony offenses. Pursuits for misdemeanor offenses are not authorized. A spokeswoman says the department continually revises procedures to make sure public safety and the safety of officers are the top priority. FOP President Dan Hills. The courts and corrections aren't doing a lot to keep people locked up on lower level felonies and misdemeanors. Is it really worth the risk uh, to go out there and, and chase folks? And generally, I think not. Back to August 2020 and that chase from Cincinnati into Newport. Cincinnati police pursued Mason Meyer. They say he was the subject of a drug investigation and refused to stop, which led to the chase. A husband and wife in their 80s died when Meyer crashed into them. The couple was simply sitting outside a Newport cafe. Two other people were injured. Meyer is now serving life in prison. The family of the two senior citizens killed is also suing Cincinnati PD. Dan Hills says he has not been told if this policy change has anything to do with that lawsuit. I'm really not certain. My guess is no, it's more of a national trend that we're seeing all across the nation to kind of uh, tighten up when police officers uh, chase. Now, as I mentioned in that report, the department maintains that revisions are, are made all the time, so there is nothing out of the ordinary with this one. No mention about that lawsuit. But according to the National Institute of Justice, this is an interesting statistic, about 48 percent of police departments all around the country have made changes in their pursuit policy in the past couple of years. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.